Karl Marx once said, I quote, it is not the consciousness of a man that determines his social being, but it is his social being that determines his consciousness, close quote. I'm sure Karl Marx all, um, you know, uh, uh, made a mistake. He wanted to say a man or a woman. <laughs> what does this actually say? It says that it is important for us to create the social settings that are necessary for us to be able to confront and defeat the challenges that we face as a society. We have all talked about, uh, talked about, he heard about the increased African population, which will lead to an increased youth population. And um, what we need to do is to create an environment or to design an environment that will create youth that will be geared towards development, education, better citizenry. I don't think we talk enough about better citizenry. Industrialization, digitization, and most recently, the fourth industrialization, which is going to completely automate the workforce with all the implications when machines start doing what human beings are doing, then we definitely need to think on how we're going to design a society that will be ready for that. So what are we supposed to do, especially the institute? We are supposed to design a social environment that will be able to construct the environment that will ensure that our society not only continue to thrive, but improve the degree in which it thrives. Now, um, as the University of Johannesburg, we take the issue of the advancement of, of, of society very, very uh, uh, seriously. And some of the things that I'm going to talk about are, what have we done to make sure that uh, we are able to confirm this? We have designed an ecosystem of institutes that are designed to tackle some of these challenges. The Gauteng City Region Observatory is jointly owned by the province University of Johannesburg and University of Witwatersrand to understand what is happening in the Gauteng City Observatory when it comes to matters of employment, when it comes to matter, matters of social exclusion and inclusion, and so on and so forth. We have um, the, in, the, 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 the center for social development in Africa, which deals with um, you know, the security, social security. Uh, we have the Pan-African Institute of uh, Thought and Conversation, which, is, which engages on matters of Africa's future and what role we ought to play as, 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 as interested parties. The Joint Institute of Advanced Study, which we co-own with um, the, uh, the, the Nanyang Technological University in Singapore, the Confucius Institute, the Chinese have arrived, and we need to understand them. We need to understand them very, very well. And we are not going to understand them unless we understand their language, unless we understand their culture, and uh, unless we understand what their plans are. And we have uh, the Confucius Institute, which is a sister institute to this institute that we have launched, where you can learn about Chinese culture. You can even learn how to, 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 to read Chinese and to speak Chinese. And I would encourage you to, to contact me so that you can enroll yourself and you can be ready for the arrival of the Chinese, which has already happened. So we have uh, many institutes. These are just few. We have many institutes that are intended to transform society. Of course, the second thing that we do is uh, human capacity development. Um, of our 12,000, the majority of our 12, or almost 12,000 graduates annually actually are first time graduates in their family. There is no transformation that equals the transformation through education. When you take somebody 
whose grandparents could not even read and write. And you make them an electrical engineer, which we do it all the time. You know? In fact, we do it most of the time. You know, the majority of our graduates are actually first-time graduates in their family. You can imagine you know, uh, the aggregate of this. And, and we are not a small university in terms of, we are one of the largest producers of graduates in South Africa. Over 10,000 graduates, over 11,000 graduates annually. With those few words, uh, thank you very much for coming and uh, enjoy brunch. The University of Johannesburg. Rethink. Reinvent.